my darlings. It's been a while since we've had a challenge, so I thought I would do one. It's hard, not hard, and I apologize for the lighting because I am outside um, the superstore right now. I have to run in and pick a few things up for supper tonight. And I was doing my newsletter this morning, and it got me thinking about um, the holidays and how freaking stressful they can be, especially if you have family that doesn't support you, especially as, you know, indie authors, we get this a lot. People just don't understand. Or, you know, maybe you're like me and you're queer and, you know, so there's family that just, they're homophobic or, you know, whatever, or, you know, they're just racists or, it can be really super stressful. So my challenge to you for the holiday season is it's not going to be easy. I want you to use no as a complete sentence. Now, I know a lot of us aren't there yet. I luckily am pretty much there where I don't feel the need to explain myself. It's like I hit 50 and my, you know, don't give an F switch was, you know, turned on. But you do not have to put your mental health last because somebody in your family thinks that, oh, it's Christmas, so we should all be together. You don't have to do that, okay? And I would like for you to advocate for yourself and your own mental health by saying no. And don't explain yourself because that's called boundaries. And a lot of us were raised as people pleasers and boundaries are really, really hard for us. And it's going to be super uncomfortable. It's going to be super uncomfortable doing it the first few times. But if you say no and refuse to give a reason, they're going to have to accept it or they, they don't. Either way, that's their problem, not yours. So I, I'm, I'm asking you, the challenge I'm asking you to do is to take care of yourself, to say no to something that you don't want to do over the holidays, whether it's, you know, 30 people of extended family for, for Christmas dinner, and you're the one who always ends up doing all the cleaning up. Say no. Say no. Either say no, you're not going, or no, you're not going to be the only one to be doing the cleaning up as an example. So take care of yourself, take care of your mental health, set those boundaries and stick to them. It's gonna suck. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna suck. But 2024 is your year. And now's the time to start making people realize that. Start by setting some boundaries. And if you need to talk, if you need somebody to vent to, my DMs are always open. You know that. So I dare you to do it with me. Say no, no explanation. All right. I'm so excited for the new year. You guys, we're going to be having a monthly um, live chat. For those of you who are on my newsletter list, you already have that information, but keep your eyes on my social media and it's going to be a blast. We're going to do it once a month for the first quarter. And then if you guys want it more after that, we'll look at, at maybe, you know, doing it every other week or even every week. Who knows? 2024 is our year. So let's get it going. Love you to death.